on, guys, and welcome to a new video on PC Building Simulator. Now, what we're going to be doing today is something is similar to what we did last episode, but different in the same um, as well. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to build. We're going to be trying to build the highest score on the Times by 3D Mark scoreboard. Now, I was um, just going through the. I was, I like to go through the Times by leaderboards because they don't get changed very often, and I just wanted to have a look and see if they had been changed um, and somebody had overtaken it. But I was looking at it, and this is what I found. I post a picture on the screen now, and basically what I found was the person who was on the top had a 19,000 um, score. It was two 1080 Ti's and a 1780 Xe. But what I wanted to test out and try was to see if I could absolutely thrash that um, score by using a 9900K and 2080 Ti's, and only two of them. Now. This build had four 1080 Ti's, um, and I'm going to be using two 2080 Ti's, so I want to see how that impacts as well. Um, now, first of all, I'm going to do it with just the base clocks to start off with, but I will be using overclocked versions of the parts. So, if we go into my parts, if we go into um, the graphics cards, and I go 2080 Ti, I will be using the, um, where is it, it's an overclocked one here. Yeah, the Ultra Gaming or the Extreme one. The one has got the highest clock speed. I think it's this one. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's this one. So the AOS Extreme one. So I will be using the this one because it's the um, highest clocked. Um, but we will use um, those um, as well. But also with using... Um, we'll also be using um, overclocking as well just to get a little bit higher in um, score. So, first of all, what um, case should we use? Now, if I go into cases, I wanted to try out... Um, there's two things I want to do with this. I want to try and make it a fully, fully RGB PC, but I will do that in another video. Because um, there's a case down here that I wanted to try out and use because I hadn't tried it out yet. And I said that I would because I think it'd be quite cool. Um, there's that one. Ah, it's this one I want to use. The Gamer Storm Quadrastella Electro Limited Edition one. And I will use this at some point, but it's a mini ITX, um, and this one supports standard ATX anyway, so we will build that and see if we can build like a mini PC at some point. Um, but this one is the one I want to use because it's a big, big, like, um, supports big motherboards. Now, how you work yourself around this computer, I literally I haven't got a single clue. Um, because I don't even know where the motherboard goes. So this is going to be a learning curve for me as well, because, like, I haven't really used one of these computers before. Um, can I take the side panel off, please? Please. Um, take that off. Unscrew this. I assume this is how you get into it. Um, take the GPU support thing off. Um, okay, so the motherboard goes in there. So it just has to take this entire thing off. Right, um, that can go in there. God, this is, it's got a bit fancy, in it? Christ. Um, so, anyway, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to put, be putting in... Now, they use 7080XE, um... But it's a server-side CPU, so I want to see if it changes with a 70 with a 9900K. Um, so if we go, so we need a Z370, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So Z370. So we won't bother with any particular like color schemes. You need to take these bits off as well. Stupid things. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to bother too much about. Um... Christ, drive Betty's bloody hell. Oh Christ, got loads of them. All right, I'll leave that. Um, yeah, so I want to. I'm not gonna bother about like color and making it look all nice. That's because that'll be for another video, and um, when we do the full RGB thing. Um, but what I, all I'm really worried about at the moment is just performance and like the 3D score. So the, just anything that will work will um, suffice me. So um, i9 9900K, five gigahertz. We can't overclock the um, CPU because it's so unstable. Um, I think I overclocked it slightly um, last episode when I was doing the liquid cooler. I'm not liquid cooling this because it's too much effort and I cannot be asked. Um, I mean, I might, I might do like off camera. I might record myself just doing it and then time lapse it and see if I can do it. But I just, I can't be asked with this because it's such a pain. It's gonna be such a pain in the bum. Um, but anyway, so that's that. So now what I need is I need a liquid cooler because you cannot, um, you cannot um, air cool a 9900K. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> well, I mean, it does happen, but it's not a good idea. I wouldn't advise anybody anything like anything like i seventh gen i five and above. I wouldn't recommend anybody um, anybody put anything other than a liquid cooler in. How I judge it, if you're wondering, is 
CPUs that come with their own custom air cooler, not their own custom air cooler, but their own air cooler within the package of the CPU is how you know whether it can it works with air cooling or not. So like the 8700K, although it does work with some air coolers that you can buy, it doesn't come with an air cooler, so that means that it doesn't, I used to take it as it doesn't, it needs more than an air cooler to work, so that means it needs liquid cooling. Now, it's not always the case, it's definitely not always the case, but that's how I judge it. Like, I want to buy the, I want to buy a new um, CPU for my PC, I'm going from, a, from Intel to AMD because it's cheaper, um, cheaper for what you get, but I'll go to that another time. But, um, I, but the, I think the CPU that I want to get doesn't come with an air cooler, so I'm going to buy a liquid cooler, just because one, I want a liquid cooler anyway, but two, that's how I judge it. Um, it's probably not the best way in the world to judge it, but that's just the way that I, ju I judge it, so. No, what are you doing that for? Go on. Hatch back down. Thank you very much. Go on. Thank you. So, yes, that's how we judge it. It's not the way you should judge it, and it doesn't always mean what it actually says, but that's just the way that I think think of it. So, um, so what we also need is we need 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. We need the fastest one we can get, which is probably that Trident Z one. Um, however, I do want some RGBness. Actually, no, we're not going to go RGB. We want power. Power and performance. That's what we want. That's what we want, not RGBness. RGBness will come in next episode. Um, just make a little pattern, just because I like, it, just because why not? Um, yeah. So I should be able to come next episode. Right. So now what we need is we need graphics cards. So graphics cards, obviously, two ten eighty twenty eighty Ti's, the um, RTX overclocker. Um, I need to take the little panel things off because we have to. <laughs> um, right. There's one there. There's another one there. That's another one there. Nice. Um, graphics card in there, screw that on, another graphics card in there, no, wrong, took the wrong one off, damn it, <laughs> um, and another one in there, can I actually fit another one in there, can we fit three, no, can't fit it in, god, I was going to go for a three-way SLI then, that's <laughs> slightly disappointing, um, SSD, actually, can we stick an M.2, no, we can't, no, we're both trying to stick an M.2 in there, because I've already put the GPUs in, and I need to take, take them off, um, can I stick a SSD? Can I stick the SSD in here? No. It's a bit annoying. Is there anywhere that I can stick an SSD? No. Okay. Oh. Now we're going to have to take the graphics card off and... Oh, damn it. God damn it. We have to take the graphics card off stick an M.2 in. Oh, why? We're going to have to take both, take both of them off. That's just, a, that's just taking a mick, that is. Yeah. Oh, anyway, M.2, M um, we want the terabyte one, which is this one, and uh, stick that in, screw it in, nice, can we stick another one in, just because, why not, and, no, we cannot, surely it fits somewhere, surely you can fit another one in somewhere, no, okay, that's fine, don't bother me, let's put the graphics cards back in, <laughs> 2080, TI, um, Graphics card, there we go, another graphics card in there, there we go. Now, just as a point to note, um, I'm not trying to build the most expensive PC we can find here, although this um, case is like 400 quid, never mind. Um, this PC here, now this is basically the exact same as what I want, except instead of having um, the 16 gig 6, it's got 8 gig, so it's got 32 instead of 64. Um, but it's got the, it's got 47... A thousand, no, 4700 megahertz of RAM. Now that's a Dominator one, so it's actually the highest clock speed we can get in this game. Unfortunately, it only comes in the 8 gig sticks, so I sort of want more RAM. I want to, I'm going to see how much the it perfor the performance changes between this and the RAM we've got. Um, now, in my head, it should just equal itself out, but the only difference is that RAM and the graphics card everything else is, should be exactly the same we've got the ssd in there I'll, the power supply probably might change i'd expect um motherboard is probably different but for most part it's relatively the same basis um six so that's sixteen thousand. so i want to see how this um bench is differently so we've got the storage drives in now we need the power supply um uh, we shall go for the most powerful one we can find um Oh, what's an RGB power supply? I know, I know I said we weren't going to go with anything too RGB-ness, but I think this this is a too big an opportunity to pass up. 
Um, so let's stick um, RGB. Oh, that's a bit better though. Yeah, I know. I did say we weren't going to go too RGB ness on this, but um, that is a too big of opportunity to pass up. So let's stick these cables in, um, like so, and then we shall see. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like so. Um, we do have a few more missing cables, that's because I need to put the case, the PC back together. Now, as you can see, it's not the most expensive PC that we can find. It's only six grand. I say only six grand, but that's not the point. Um, but however, it is, it's got quite heavy components in it. And I just, the thing is, with the most, with the PC that we did last time, a lot of what stuck the price in was the, the storage. The storage drives are the things that stick the most amount of power into it. Um, like, as far as price is concerned. But as far as, like, this, this is concerned, we don't need any more than SSD in there because it doesn't affect the performance necessarily. An SSD does affect performance, but not if we have... So having two SSDs doesn't affect the performance other than having one SSD. Um, so what we need is we need this side panel. We'll stick this back on. There we go. Uh, we need this side panel, which we'll stick onto here. Um, screw that back on. Now, there's a few little parts inside that I need to put in. Um... That's side panels, that's PCI covers, that's GPU support, so we'll stick that one back in there. Um, that one back in there. Um, side panel, like that, one, two. And the other side panel, like that, one, two. Um, we'll stick the glass panels on, like that one. Oh no, it doesn't need to screw. That's all good. Um, and one like there. Just put that back down side panel like that and other side panel like that nice so now we're obviously missing cables um oh there they are connect case and a fan um can't plug the fan in anyway so that's fine we'll leave that okay nice so now we should be able to put this pc back together and we should be able to boot it now um so let's go like that and install side panel Nice and boot. Nice. So now, um, actually, what I need to do is I need to stick the um, USB drive into the side down here. Turn it off. Put it back on again, and let win. And I was going to say Windows 10. Let the Omega um, system install because SSD is quick as hell. So that's nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll put in system info just to see how temps go. Um, uh, we also obviously need 3D Mark. Um, we also need GPU tuner. And we also need OCCT to manage the overclocking. So we'll put that in as well. And then we just see um, let us restart. Nice. And then we can go and test the 3D mark um, score and see how it see how it boosts up in comparison with the one we've seen on um, the internet. Now I'm not sure if the one on the on the website is actually um, been overclocked. We'll soon find out because this is the um, this would be the one that they used anyway. Also, I want to have a look. I'll have a look in a bit um, about... Actually, right, I'm going to cut off from this video here right now. And I'm going to just see if there's any other spec, like what the rest of the system actually was. So, while this is going, I'll have a look. My guys, I'm back. I couldn't see what was actually in their system because... Um, for some reason, the website's not working now. Even though it was working 10 minutes ago when I took the screenshot, but never mind. Um, so... We've got 18,615, and our CPU is the what is what's working under what it was. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to quickly go and build a system because um, I can't use the 7980XEs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this system from a um, U, from a 9900K to a 7980XE and see how that works and see how that changes in different... Um, to the score because I can't overclock the um, 9700k because it's already 5 gigahertz and if for some reason it doesn't like being overclocked above that so I'll be back in a second right guys we're back um I've just changed out the motherboard, obviously, and to change out the CPU. Now, I was going to go for 7980XE. However, when I was searching through the um, 79, um, so 2, uh, 2066, when I was looking through these CPUs, 
Um, I I saw up here we got 780x here, which is 4.2 gigahertz at with 16 cores. But if I scroll down, this 9980x is 4.4 gig mega 4.4 gigahertz at 18 core with 18 cores. So it's got slightly higher um base clock. However much that that helps, I'm not entirely sure. However, I'm really quite. I'd rather go for the one that's the best of the best, the better one with a higher clock, um, than um than one with um slightly lower clock. Um, I did have a look. Um, so if we go back into the uh, 2066 ones, there are ones with higher clock counts, like 4.5 gigahertz. So there's one down here. I think it's 4.4. There's 4.4 again there. Um, I think it's a 4.6 is somewhere. 4.3, 4.5. Uh, might be one that I saw, but they've got lower cores, so consequently the frequency is not as the um I'm sort of lowering one to heighten another. So that so I'm taking compromises there. That I don't necessarily I don't want to do that. But um saying that though, slightly higher. Only ever so slightly. So the CPU hadn't exactly done much. Um so having that little bit of extra power with cores and whatnot doesn't make too much of a difference, really. Um, what I want to do is I want to see if I boost up. What I also actually what I want to do is um, um, overclock this GPU. Um, so if we overclock it, let's run the OCCT, um, set on infinite, and click on. So I'll set up the OCCT. Um, and I'll just overclock it bit by bit, overclock the, the core clock and the memory, wait for it to just test it, wait for it just to settle down, and see if how well this actually boosts it up. Now, if I fully overclock this, it should theoretically make it skyrocket. Now, I'm thinking about 20,000, I'm thinking. Bear in mind, the record on 3D Mark at the moment is 19,000-ish. Um, so I'm going for about 20,000, something like that. I don't think I'm going to blow it completely out of the pipe. We're going like 25,000. But um, but I think going for like 20,000, I think. So 20,500, something along those lines. Um, wait for it to settle down. There you go, settle. So let's um, boost clock this up a little bit. Um, click apply. Wait for it to settle down. Um, now I'm going to sort of make my own assumptions on whether it's on whether it's going to blue screen or not, because otherwise it's going to take too much time. Um, so wait for that to settle down. When I get up to like 90, 92, I'll stop. Um, then I'll 3D mark it again and see where we get to as far as um, scores concerned. Again, I'm only doing it bit by bit because otherwise, if I go all the way up, it's going to absolutely blue screen without question. So um, now, if I was to liquid cool this, it would um, I'd be able to overclock it slightly more. Um, yeah, see, I've, I've done it even too, even that was too much, and it's gone up to like 94s and just killed itself. Um, so let's go GPU tuner, let's just move this down a bit more, down a bit more again. Um, let's click apply and run OCCT on automatic and see where we get to. So if that's okay, if that won't blue screen, I'll 3D mark it just as that. Um, I, again, I'm not sure, but it's 4.4. The G, the G, the, the CPU. So I'm wondering if I can overclock the CPU a bit more. Um, overclock it just ever so slightly. That may be okay. That may work. Well, let's let's see what score we get with um, the overclock GPUs and see where we get to on that front. Um, if we go to GPUs, they both yeah, they've all both been overclocked. They're both running at the same claim clock speed, which is fine. Right, that's fine. So that's overclocked. So let's go back into 3D Mark and click Run and see where we get to. Now, is <laughs> Overclocking is a really weird thing because I'm up I'm upgrading my um, CPU to like I said before and it's a six core Ryzen CPU and a um, 2070 t uh, not 2070 a uh, 2070 RTX card now I don't like overclocking because I tried to overclock my RAM when I first got it and it very nearly just it nearly just died on me um, Luckily I could revert it back in the BIOS, but it's a really weird sort of Sort of thing, and I don't touch it really. Um, I've tried overclocking my laptop, and my laptop's a H processor. It's an i seven eighty seven fifty H, so consequently you can't actually overclock it, which is a bit of a pain. But um, so I don't I haven't actually had much luck with trying to overclock things. But I don't know. It's re it's a really weird sort of thing to like try and do. It's good because if you can do it successfully, the gaming performance you can get out of it is monstrous. 
But again, stuff like this, using a server-side CPU to um, play games on is not a good idea. Because we tried this once before with the Ryzen, um, I think it was a Threadripper 1920X, I think, that we um, tried to put in um, and 3D Mark, and it just completely fell flat on its face. Now, that's just, now, it transpires, like I said before, that that is because, um, oh, look, there we go, 21,000, I've overest I underestimated myself. Okay, ball out of the park. Right, so 24,000 on the GPU, and that's completely, like, just overtaken on the CPU. Okay, that's interesting. Um, what I want to do is I want to just overclock this, see if I can overclock the CPU. Um, let's see, so it's 4.4 at the moment, we've got 64 gigs of um, RAM at the moment. Um, so let's overclock it. Um, take this up to 5, uh, five volts. Stick it up to 4 point... Well, it's not 4.4, so we'll go one at a time. So let's save and exit, because it as soon as it gets... Um, it'll boot overclocked, but if um, if it's overclocked too much, then it'll blue screen like that. So I can't actually overclock it anymore. It's a bit of a pain, but um, that's fine, because we've, we've actually beaten the... Um, we have actually beaten the um, score that was set on 3D Mark by quite a lot. So we've gone from 19,000 to 21,000. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Because um, that, that means that this is probably more powerful than the one we've got um, on, the, um, on the website. Now, unfortunately, I can't... Um, I, don't, I don't think I can anyway. Upload this to, um, to um, 3D Mark because I think... Excuse me, I think it's only for ones that are made in real life and not in a simulator. So, um, unfortunately, that is um, all we have time for in this video here now that we've finished doing that. Next episode, I will try and... I've got a few ideas for PC building um, simulator videos that I can do. So, we did the most expensive PC last video. We've got the most powerful PC um, in this video. Um, I want to do an all RGB PC. I also want to do the cheapest PC we can make. Um, as well as, uh, what else, what else can we do? I don't know. The thing is with this game is there's so many different possibilities for what you can do. I want to, I want to see if we can build, like, if we go into our adventure, we've got, like, Celeron. Um, we've got, like, two core Celerons. So we've got Pentiums as well. I think Pentiums, um, a bit, bit, a bit better. But we've got Celerons and Pentiums. And if we go into, um, if we go into our graphics cards, we've got, um, I think it's, like, seven. 50 Ti, Ti, is it Ti? Yeah, got 750 Ti, two gigs of VRAM. I want to just see stuff like that and how that um and how that scores and see what what score we can get with overclocking on those. So we've got a lot we can do in this um video. Um, like building the cheapest PC we can, building the lowest clock speed of PC that we can. Um, seeing if we can undervolt um CPUs and see if that blue screens. So it's really like there's a lot, it's an endless possibility of stuff we can do in this game, and there's a lot of stuff that we can do that we haven't done already, and I really want to do because it's more like yes, it's entertaining for for to make videos and something to make videos on, but for me personally, it's really it's I use this so much as just like a way of like I've always got hundred hours on PC building simulators just because I experiment so much with different things that like I can this this game basically gives me the option to do things that I would want to do in real life, but on a simulator. Because at the moment, as of the, where I am at the moment, I can't afford to put, like, a really expensive PC together to try and beat the score of um, 3D Mark on the website. I haven't got the money to do that, because if you think this, this PC itself costs, what, like, 6,855 quid to make, you know, so under any circumstances, I'm not going to be able to do that in real life. Um, but however, when a game, this game, because I can do it all for pretty much free, aside from the DLCs and whatnot, but when I can do it for all for free, it's just so much better. No, it's not 100% accurate, but it's still pretty accurate. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome gaming content. If you have any more suggestions for me to do in PC Building Simulator, leave them in the comment section down below and I will get, um, I'll put them on my list of different things that I wish to do in the game. Um, and... I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you all later. Bye.